Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full walkthrough video of how to achieve this look, which is my go-to everyday um, makeup look that I wear with a bold lip. 99% of the time I am wearing some sort of bold color on, on my lip, whether it's a berry color or red or, or something of that sort. It's just that's where I'm comfortable. I don't really wear a nude lip very often or a very natural lip very often especially you know these months going forward by the end of October or I'm sorry by the end of August onward I am wearing a blue lip so all right so I'm going to start with a freshly cleansed face and then I'm going to just go ahead and prime I like to start priming with my eyes first because it's usually what I focus on first rather than my face so I'm just using this Lorac behind the scenes eye primer if you own the Lorac palettes, then you probably have this. I think it's a really awesome primer. And because Lorac palettes are probably some of my favorites, um, I seem to get them with every one of them. So I just have like a little back stock of them and that's what I use. Um, I just use the tiniest little amount and I rub that all over my eyelids. Like so. And then I like to go in and prime my face next. Um, today I'm just going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Primer. This is the Perfecting Primer. I do plan on filming some other videos today, so I think this is a great primer for that purpose. I use one and a half pumps. That just seems to be the perfect amount for my face. And I just rub this in. I focus it mostly around my oily spots which is my chin, my cheeks, like the bridge of my nose, pretty much the center of my face, and then I work the rest of it outward. Like so. Okay, all right, so now that my face is primed, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my eyes. Two palettes that I'm going to be using today are my Lorac Pro palettes, the first and the second. Um, but the colors that I'm using are very, very typical or standard, very dupable colors. You can absolutely find these in other palettes if you don't prefer these ones or don't have them, or you can definitely find colors similar to these in the drugstore. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the color light brown, which is right here, all the way through my crease. I'm going to run this color all the way through my crease. Like so. It gives just a really good base for the rest of the shadows. I like to keep my eyes fairly light in color. Um, nothing too bold when I wear a bold lip. Just to keep everything balanced out. So now that I have that running through my crease, I'm going to go ahead and pack some of the color buff through the bottom part of my lid. And kind of just blend it lightly up into that light brown color. And these are those new brushes. If you saw my recent CVS haul, these are the paparazzi brushes. I actually kind of am enjoying them. Um, they seem to be decent brushes. Okay, so now that that is complete, I'm going to go ahead and run some of the final brush I want. I'm going to go ahead and run the color taupe from the um, original palette through my crease. I'm going to use a smaller brush, more defined crease brush like so. And I'm going to run this through my crease. And create like the V kind of look into my outer V. Okay. So now that that is done, I'm going to use 
eyeshadow brush and the color beige from the second one which is just like a kind of a champagne-y color and I'm going to use that and kind of blend out any harsh lines up top this is the only shadow that I've used that's not matte so far just an FYI I like to try and keep my shadows very matte when I wear a bolder lip. I don't know, it's just my preference. So I'm gonna blend all that out like so. And then I'm gonna go in with a brush. I'm gonna go in with a smudge brush in the color Snow from that same palette. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner and kind of blend it out like so. And then the last thing I'm going to do, just to deepen up of the tiniest bit, is I'm going to go back in with that same crease brush and the color Espresso which is also matte. And I'm just going to apply this into the very, very outer V. And then I'll go back and blend that in a little bit in just a second. But as you can tell, I am not dragging that in very far at all. And this is a very dark brown, almost black, obviously by the color espresso, by the name Espresso. And then I'm going to go back in with a brush and just kind of blend that in a little bit. Like so. And that is the eye look, short of eyeliner and mascara and that kind of thing, but I always go back and do that last. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move on with to my face. Now that my primer is kind of sat a little bit, I'm actually going to apply a little bit of lip balm. I forgot to do that. I usually do that right after um, primers. I'm going to go in with my what foundation do I want to use here. I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay. I am in the shade 200 Nude. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Ooh, that's probably a little much. I have to keep the bottle upside down because I'm almost out of it. And I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques, um, what is this, Expert Face Brush. Apply a little bit of that to the brush and I'm just going to start stippling this all over my face. And I don't get super close to my, the under eye area. I leave that for concealer. Okay, so now that that is completely buffed in, I'm going to go back and start concealing. I don't have many spots, if any, that I feel that I need to conceal with, like, true concealer. I'm just going to do my under eye and, like, highlighting concealer. I've been using this CoverGirl Fresh Complexion. I don't know what the actual color is, but it's the lightest shade, I do believe. And I like to just apply this in the V, like so. Or triangle, I guess you would call it, under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit more, um, a little bit on the cupid's bow, and then I like to do like an X or a star, I guess, middle of my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with, this is just a Target complexion brush, I'm not sure entirely what that br this brush is called. I like to kind of just blend in the under eye concealer, like so. Blend in this stuff, and I kind of drag it down onto my lip. And then blend in all of the other concealer. And I kind of just, um, on my forehead, I just take the brush and I kind of push it outwards. Like so. 
make sure everything is blended. All right, so now that my concealer is done, we're going to set that. And I like to use two different face powders for the inner part of my face where I get oily the most. I've really been enjoying, which isn't talked about very much anymore, and I don't know if it went over very well when it first came out, but it's the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. I'm in the color 120 Classic Ivory. I have definitely hit pan on that, and I'm very close to being done. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. complexion brush and apply this powder to the center of my face and under my eyes. I just dab it very lightly under my eyes to set that concealer. Essentially this one is just used to set the concealer. Like so. And then I go in with a slightly darker um, pressed powder which is the Balance and Brighten from Laura Geller in Medium. And I apply this to the outer parts of my face. Just kind of like in a buffing motion. But I don't press hard because obviously you don't want to move your foundation and stuff around. But I do buff it in very, very lightly. Okay. So now that that is complete, my hair is looking a wreck, by the way. I would not go out and look at my hair looking like this. Um, I did throw it in a top knot, which I actually probably would, but I make sure that all this is out okay so now that all my powder is on I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I've just been loving the hula powder I have it in this palette which is the cabana glamour palette but this is just hula from benefit and I'm obsessed with it I think it's amazing for bra um, like bronzing and contouring and I'm gonna go in with the elf blush brush um, it's kind of tapered like so and I think this is just a really awesome brush for contouring. I'm going to go ahead and contour. And I blend everything out after. So this is going to look a little harsh and kind of crazy until I start blending. Yeah, and it looks real crazy in the camera. It looks even worse than it does on, um, in my mirror. Then I just put a little bit around the outside of my face, around my jawline, on the sides of my nose, just a little bit. I don't really worry about contouring out my nose very much. And then I do a little bit under my lower lip. And then I go in with a bigger fluffy brush. This is the Bare Minerals Bronzer Brush. Looks like this. And I kind of just blend that up and blend it out. Like so, so if you guys can get a little bit of better idea of that. Same with my forehead and under my chin, I'm like so. So I kind of just softened that up a little bit and I keep this brush close because I'm going to use it again. And then I'm going to go in with my blush. The blush that I'm going to use today is from Mary Kay. And it is the color Sparkling Cider. It is a beautiful color. It's very neutral. It has a tiny bit of shimmer in it. I just think it's gorgeous. So I'm going to apply that to the backs of my cheeks and kind of um, blend it forward like so. If you guys can hear that, the dog is whining outside the door because I locked her out because all you could hear in my last couple of videos is her little feet across the floor in here. And it was distracting for me, so I can only imagine it's very distracting for you guys. So yeah, I just kind of blend in the blush. Like so, the side's looking funny in the mirror. I'm not sure why, but... Okay. So, after blush is done, I go in one more time and kind of blend everything out with this brush. Again, now she's whining even more. Like so. So everything is very blended now. And then the last step for the face is highlight and I've been using this Stila all over shimmer liquid luminizer and I, I can't decide if I'm a huge fan of it or not it comes in like a nail polish bottle 
and I just, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, but the way that I apply it is I put it on my finger, and then I kind of dab them together, and then I dab it along the highest points of my cheek, and I kind of just pat it in. Because I notice if you rub it in, it's too liquidy and it like totally messes with what you've got going on. So I just pat it in like so. And then I use the leftovers down my nose. Like so. So it's very natural. I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's definitely very natural. Really pretty. I really like it. And then I like to spray my face with some Fix Plus. I'm almost out. I'm sure you guys will be seeing this in an empties video soon. Just to kind of give everything a dewier finish to eliminate the powdery look of all the powder that I just placed on my face. So while that dries, I'm going to go ahead and brush out my eyebrows. And I've never done my eyebrows on film, so we'll see how this goes. I've been using the Sonia Kashuk, um, what is this? Brow Kit. Yeah, in 12. I don't know if there's different colors or not, but it says 12 on the back. And just a brush like so. And then I, you can tell, I mostly use these two lighter shades. And I'll mix a little bit of the darker in. So I just kind of mix those all together. Let's see if I should see you guys in a little more. Okay, and then I just go in and I start at the bottom. And kind of sculpt in the bottom part of my brows and then I turn the brush sideways and kind of follow that same line and then at the front where my eyebrows are a little more sparse I kind of lightly just like to blend that all together I don't do a super super um, precise brow especially when my brows aren't like perfectly groomed just because I think it can go from looking really good to looking really bad really quickly. Blend it all together. Like so. And then obviously the last step is just eyeliner and lashes. So I'm going in, I've rediscovered um, gel eyeliner and the only one that I have in my collection that I didn't get rid of because it was too old and too dried out is the e.l.f. one. So I'm going in with just an eyeliner brush and the e.l.f. gel, or I guess they call it a cream eyeliner. Eyeliner, And I have to tug my eye. I know you guys are gonna complain. Simple, like I said, I keep my eyes quite simple when I wear a blue lip, just because I like the focus to be on my lips. And I do wear glasses about 90% of the time. So obviously you want those to be, you want your lips to like outstand up all the time. So I'm just going to go in and curl my lashes. Like so. And then the first mascara I'm going to apply is just a good old Great Lash. This is Black is Black. I like to apply a coat of this as my base mascara and then I apply you know, my lengthening or thickening mascaras over top. And then I'm going to go in with my next mascara, which is the Benefit They're Real. Um, this is just a little sample, and I'm glad I have not paid full price for it yet, because I can't decide if I'm a big fan or not. But this is just what I'm going to go in to kind of beef up my lashes a little bit, if you will. I just feel like it makes my lashes super brittle feeling. like. I originally had just started using two coats of this, and by the, second by the time I tried to put it on the second coat, I felt like my eyelashes were going to break off. Okay, so now that my eyes are completely done, all I have left is my lips. And I do have a um, top, I haven't decided how many, but top favorite um, like bold lip colors, especially for fall. I think it will be fall centered. So 
keep an eye out for that. That video will probably be up this week. If not this week, this upcoming week, it'll be the beginning of next week. I have quite a few videos that I have in the works right now, so I just have to figure out when it's going up. But I'm going to be talking about my favorite fall look colors. So 99% of the time when I am wearing a berry colored lip, I am using this lip crayon or this lip um, liner, which is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil in the color Fab Fuchsia. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually I'm going to wipe off some of that lip gloss that I used. I don't have a dry rag. I only have a makeup removing wipe. But I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And I don't have a reason to overdraw my lips, so I really just stick to my actual lip shape. And then I do also fill it in with this. Like so. Okay, so that's step number one. And then for today's look, I'm going to use this Be A Bombshell um, lip crayon in the color Shameless. Which is almost identical to the same color as that lip liner. And then to give it just a little bit of a shine, I'm going to go over the top of that with the Kaylin Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss in Love Affair, which looks really like oxblood colored in the tube, but it's very much so a berry color. And that totally completes the look. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed, you know, kind of talking you through my everyday bold lip look. I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I'm somebody that normally wears a bold lip. I think it just, it suits me and my style better than like a nude lip. I don't think that I can pull off a nude lip very well. So a bold lip, like this kind of look is very much my comfort zone. Um, so yeah, this is what I wear majority of the time and how I wear my makeup. 